13 weather forecast. As we head into the first couple of days of this next work week, we're going to be drying things out for the most part. Yes, there could be a shower or two in a few places tomorrow, but the overall coverage will be a lot less than today, certainly less than we saw yesterday. And uh, then for the middle and later part of this next week, well, we'll start to see those scattered rain chances come back. So uh, we're not getting too much of a break uh, with the drier weather at this point, which is good news uh, with all the conditions we've had the drought, all that kind of stuff in recent weeks. Temperatures tomorrow stay on the cooler side, at least relative to average, similar to today. I think mid-70s, about as warm as we get. Expecting clouds and a little bit of sunshine and that possibility of a pop-up shower with daytime heating. Showers have been diminishing with the loss of daytime heating uh, tonight. Uh, still seeing a few here and there, but pretty Clear skies throughout much of our area, more clouds up to the north that are likely to fill in overnight where winds are settling down. Well, there's a good chance you may see some fog development as well. Weather watchers chiming in with rain reports. Uh, most of these are two day totals, not all of them, but these are the latest coming from them. So thank you for these. Uh, nearly seven tenths of an inch from Connie in Lublin, about two tenths of an inch from John in to uh, Tony. Almost two inches in Colfax, so a significant amount for parts of Dunn County. A lot of this came yesterday. Good news there. Pete and Elk Mound just measuring over uh, an inch there. And then down to the south, uh, looking at uh, 0.12 in Nelson. I'm guessing that is just for today. Uh, here is our station two-day total, 0.55 inches. The airport in uh, to the north actually picking up only about a quarter of an inch for a two-day total. Uh, Hatfield, a half inch, and the same from Punk in Grant. And again, thank you for those. 68 right now is our current air temperature in Eau Claire. Uh, mostly cloudy sky being reported at the airport. Northwest wind at 9, dew point at 60. A little bit on the sticky side today. Those dew points will start to come down as we head on into tomorrow. Looking westbound, mostly in the 60s right now. As we go into the overnight, these are not likely to drop very much, maybe three to as much as five degrees, but that is about it because we do have some of that low level moisture still in play. Tomorrow though, we're not going to warm up very much. Uh, looking at low and mid 70s for the most part, even some cooler 60s off towards the east, we're still going to be under the influence of at least the western part of that circulation as the low continues to spin over in the Great Lakes. Now here is our upper level pattern as we head into this next week and the final stretch of June. And what we're going to see is this will be about midweek. We have a bit of a trough out west and then a little bit of a trough in the east. In between, flat ridging, but this kind of a flow is going to promote weather systems to be able to come from the west and work through the area. And that's why we have some rain chances later the week. in the week. The ridge is not extending way to the north in Canada like it has a lot of this month. There's our low. Again, we're on the back side of that circulation and tomorrow will still be in it, but not as much. Uh, see some of the clouds coming back in for the early morning hours and then maybe some breaking up of the clouds for the afternoon. Could see that pop up shower. We clear out tomorrow night into Tuesday. That's our best chance to get maybe a full day of sunshine before those scattered shower and storm chances return. Again, with that flat flow that starts to take older, over, that will also promote near average temperatures. We look to generally be in the low 80s for a good chunk of the week and those slight chances of showers and storms. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, more opportunities to catch some needed rain. It's definitely a nice thing to hear. Yes, Thanks. for sure. <laughs> Thanks so much, Darren. Yep.